All right, um, I mentioned this relay um, on one of my other videos and I thought I'd show it in action. Um, so it uh, has four inputs and what it's going to do is it's going to um, take the inputs that are uh, on these two diagonals and it'll put it on these, these two diagonals either in this order or in this order. So this connector uh, in the off state is connected to this connector and on the on state it's connected to that connector and then this one is in the off state is connected to this connector and the on state is connected to this connector so it swaps the two so now these two leads uh, will be um, the where the the device under test will be the other two leads on the other on the diagonal will be on the uh, on the VNA, and then we can uh, use this switch to to flip them back and forth. So we can watch a filter from uh, the A port to the B port or the B port to the A port. We can look at it either way. So we'll do that. I have a little filter here that's kind of cute. It's a uh, I pulled it out of a piece of equipment. It's a saw filter, and I've measured it before. It measures at 114.3 megahertz uh, bandpass filter, so it's a saw bandpass filter. So uh, we'll use that as our device under test. But first, we have to calibrate. Since this is 114, um, we'll go ahead and uh, change the stimulus to a center of 114. 14.3 and we'll have a span let's say of 30 megahertz span of 30 megahertz so check down here center 114.3 and span of 30 megahertz okay so we're all set to go uh, you can see that our uh, uh, length of cables is putting us way over here um, so we will get our cal set. We'll use our we'll use our little uh, cal set here. We'll we'll do uh, a cal. Uh, let's see here. Back cal reset. Uh, calibrate. We're going to do an open first. Uh, so let's see. This one we want to calibrate to this one. And that one's going here, and that one is here. So this should be this should be our port that we want to calibrate to. We'll say open. Let me zoom out a bit here. Um, then we'll do the short. this quickly short and we'll do the load load we need to do an isolation so I need another another load I need to make another female load I just have to use a little adapter here shouldn't affect this measurement very Okay, so we'll do an isolation. Now we need to do a through. And through and done. And we're going to save this in number four. And let's get this out of the way. Let's put on our filter. There we go. Uh, let's see here. Let's zoom in. Uh, and I think we can. Uh, we can see we're getting a dip here, but we want to see the uh, through. So let's go back to the display and we want to 
show display format more linear let's see is that right oh I know what we want to do is we want to turn on channel one backtrace we'll turn on channel one and so now we're looking at channel one there we go so we see the blue is peaking so let's get rid of this one and let's zoom in uh, back stimulus span of let's do uh, five megahertz ah very nice I uh, hope you can see that uh, we're getting a, a really nice uh, band pass and we're getting a Smith chart for the matching and uh, now what we'll do is we'll turn on the power supply and this will flip and there we go you see the uh, uh, the band pass didn't change but the uh, uh, matching on the input the uh, Smith chart did move over so this is uh, from let's say the filter from left to right and the filter from right to left and we see there's a little shift there so one of these is looking at uh, S11 and one of these is looking at S22 and then the through is looking at S12 or S21 um, so there you go uh, we've got the relay clicking and it's working both ways so you could uh, automate this um, I see some people talking to this device with like MATLAB they have some MATLAB code that able able to talk over the uh, the USB and certainly you could add this to your MATLAB code so you could do uh, a full uh, network analyzer um, all, all four uh, you know all two directions all uh, uh, six measurements right there's six and here we go I'll show the piece of paper here uh, so this is what we have and then when we swap the uh, relay then we have this one so we're measuring three things here and then we get over here we're measuring three things here but in the opposite direction so um, just about the push of a button excellent all right hope you enjoy that